on the fundamental counting principle. Here is the definition of the fundamental counting principle. Let's say we have two finite sets. Finite means they stop. And we want to choose one of one element from A and one element from B. What we do is we multiply the N of A times the N of B. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this more clearly on our next three examples. So here's our first example. There's a lot of special. We have entree choices of pizza, chicken, and beef. Then we have side dish choices of coleslaw, salad, or fruit. Then we have drink choices of milk, punch, juice, and iced tea. And we want to figure out how many different ways could we choose different lunch choices. So for example, we could choose from the entree um, a pizza, a salad, and a juice. Then the next day, we might choose something like, change colors here, chicken, fruit, and iced tea. Then the next day, we choose something like, oh, let's do chicken again, and we're gonna do coleslaw and punch. Well, this would take a while to try to figure out how many different possibilities if we keep choosing it that way. Instead, we're gonna go ahead and figure out how many elements are in each group. So let's talk about the first element, the entree. How many choices do we have? We have three choices. I'm gonna go ahead and multiply. Start with the first thing, three. Then, we go to the next element, which is our, our next group, is our side dishes. We have three elements there, so we're gonna go ahead and multiply that by three. And our last one is our drinks. We have four choices in our drinks. So we go ahead and multiply three times three times four. And we get 36 different ways to create different lunch choices. Here's our next example. In Utah, a license plate consists of three digits followed by three letters. The letters I, O, and Q are not used. And each digit or letter may be used more than once. How many different license plates are possible? So, some examples would be, we have to start with the digits. So how many different digits are there? There's numbers from zero to nine to choose from. So maybe our license plate looks like this, nine, eight, and five. And then the next three on the license plate have to be letters. Now we cannot choose these three, I, O, or Q. So it's gonna be something like this, A, C, and B. What we want to do is figure out how many different possible license plates could we have. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this. And we think about the first three choices, the digits. So we have zero to nine choices here, zero to nine choices here, and zero to nine choices there. And then we have our letters. Now our letters, our alphabet has 26 letters. We have everything uh, with 23 letters here, 23 letters here, and 23 letters here. Now below this gray box is our answer. So how many digits are between zero and nine? Well, that's 10 digits. We multiply it by another 10 digits, 10 digits. And then we talked of this about already, it's 23 letters times 23 letters times 23 letters. And we come up with 12,167,000. Here's our last example. So imagine you're making a pizza at home. And we're gonna figure out how many different possibilities we can make our pizza. One choice could be a thin crust, a thick crust, or a stuffed crust. So we have three choices there. Then we choose our sauce, spicy or regular. So we have two choices there. And then we have our toppings that we want to put on it. Cheese, pepperoni, green pepper, or sausage. So we have four choices there. Well, the question is this. How many different ways can you choose one crust, one sauce, and one topping? So we're going to go ahead and multiply those three numbers together. Three times two times four. So three times two is six, six times four is 24. 
So we have 24 different ways that we could create 